Hey, what's up everybody? It's Hugh here from Creator Up. Today I want to make a quick video to respond one of the video I recently post. It's the camera comparison between the Zcam X1 Pro, Zcam S1, and the Instant 360 Pro camera, 360 video camera. And one of the biggest comments uh, I got from users in the Facebook group uh, is uh, also on the YouTube channel. It's about the dynamic range of this camera, Instant 360 Pro, which is filming right now. Because the sky clearly blow out in when, when, it, when we film in Sydney, Australia. But I should try out two special modes to capture the most amount of color information uh, for this camera, which is turn on isolated exposure mode and also using a flat color mode, which is using a lot profile according to Instant 360 Pro uh, team. So, that's what I do exactly on this video. Why right now this video filming is on isolated exposure mode and it's also on flat color mode. And I test it in my house. This is actually a perfect test uh, for if you're doing any kind of interior uh, realistic project uh, for a client and you want to film uh, the interior of the house. And uh, that is a very common situation, right? Um, and I'm very lucky right now, I'm actually in a two million house in Venice, California. Uh, this is a brand new house. If you look around, you can see there's a lot of windows in this house. A lot of windows. There's a window on my right, your left, right here. So look at that giant window, window door. And look at the outside, look at the backyard. Uh, pay attention to the chair outside, have a really intricate texture. Uh, also, if you want to look further, it's my garage, the tree, the fireplace. So if you have a DSR right now, if you go outside, you probably got blow out because California is very sunny. So we are in the sunny California in Venice. So it's very sunny outside. It's noon right now. The sun's right on top of us. So shining into the house. So outside, it's supposed to blow out like crazy right now. So that's a giant window, you check it out. If you want to turn around, like behind you, it's also a window, like floor window. You can also see the outside. Uh, you can see through my neighbor's house. You can see an American, American flat uh, at my neighbor's house, if you can see that, uh, because we just have 4th of July. So we still keep the American, American flat there to celebrate 4th of July. Um, but you can also see the tree, the gardening outside. And then if you turn like, a little bit, keep turning, I actually, for like demonstration purpose, I turned the, I turned my Apple TV on, so you can actually look at the TV luminance value uh, captured by the camera. So uh, I just pick Netflix, HBO Go. I mean, that's all my Apple TV app. And then you keep looking. There's a window on top of uh, that interesting desk that is also outside. Uh, did, did not get direct lighting from the sun because the sun is behind me right now. Uh, but you can still see if you get blow out and then you keep looking that way further away. So uh, you see two windows. Uh, that window in front of my door is actually pretty far away from you right now. It's probably around like 20 meters away. Uh, sun is also shining outside so you can check it out. There's a tree, there's a car. Uh, if you can see the object outside, that the camera is pretty good and capture a lot of information. Um, so also in this house, why not it's a mixed lighting and actually purposefully turn on this fluorescent light. Uh, so I want to test how, is, how good is the color representation of the camera in flat color mode. Just to repeat, we are in flat color mode and isolated mode, isolated exposure mode. So I gotta bring this footage into my computer and color grade it and show the final result. But for the purpose of demonstration, so from this forward, I will basically turn off my color grading result and just show you the directly flat output of this camera. So now hopefully the flat color mode, my color grading is turned off, it's still on flat color mode. So look around, see what it actually looked like in the flat color mode directed out on the camera and do a comparison. So again, look at outside, check out the chair, check out the fireplace, look behind you, Look up, look at the TV, look at the mixed lighting situation, look at the far window on your left. So hopefully you can actually see the performance of this camera now on flat color mode and also on isolated exposure mode. So some user on YouTube asked me, what is isolated, expo isolated exposure mode? So 
thanks to Mike uh, from 360 Rumors, I said the exposure mode actually mean the, the camera gonna automatically adjust the ISO exposure of each individual lens. So each lens will have a even color when you bring the footage into Stitcher and stitch it together. We don't have that awful situation that you see in a lot of like consumer level camera like Gear 360 and Nikon key mission. You will see that the stitch line and one lens is overexposed because they're facing the sun, right? The other lens is underexposed. So when they put together, it doesn't look right. You just see the stitch line and see the footage doesn't match. And isolated exposure mode is designed to fix this common issue of color grading. Again, you don't need to do uh, use isolated exposure mode. From my experience, I actually prefer to use manual mode. So I manually adjust ISO exposure of the whole camera so I can capture as uh, many information as possible in my standard. And then I'm gonna bring the footage into like Auto Panel Pro uh, video or Mystica VR, and then I will adjust uh, the color temperature and balance exposure individually and match each lens together and produce a better result. So uh, that is more professional level if you want to go that far. Stitch the, stitch the stitcher and actually color grade stitch your footage into Auto Panel uh, Pro Video, Video Pro, Beta 3 uh, or Mystica VR. So hopefully that gives you some like technical insight professional detail of this camera and how good is it to contain and capture the best dynamic range compared to Z Cam. Unfortunately, I don't have a Z Cam with me right now. So the next video, I will basically find a Z Cam V1 Pro and compare that with this flat color mode that Instant 360 Pro come with. So hopefully you learn something or you find out something. Again, if you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. It will help me a lot to continue making test video for you guys. I'll see you next time.